you know, I, oh goodness, I just noticed something and I, now I know why they were being sold. Good morning friends, it's now day three of my thrift trip. Uh, it is only 8 a.m. and I am currently in a place called Parksville. I will be driving to a place called Courtney and uh, there I am going to go to the only thrift shop that is open, uh, Value Village. So I specifically saved it for today so that I would have something to do because everything else is uh, closed today. I will also have a little surprise. I may have booked a cute Airbnb so I'm really really excited for that. We'll be staying in my car tonight. Anyway. I'm going to finish up my breakfast, I'm going to clean up, and then I'm going to start driving to Courtney. I just made it to the Value Village in Courtney. Uh, just opened up, so uh, I'm excited about this. Here we go. Ready for today. Someone totally just picked up my camera. I mean, it was expected because we're in a thrift shop, so, you know. I'm actually surprised it hasn't happened yet, but, you know, it wasn't too bad. It would've been bad if I had turned my back for longer and they put it in their basket and it was completely gone. Then, then I would've been upset. But, um, yeah, that happened. So I'm out of the Value Village. I uh, ended up spending 
hundred dollars there and it was actually a really really nice value village it was super organized and they just they had a lot of good things and um, for not a bad price too and like the stuff like the the grungy shoes were actually priced six dollars instead of like the twenty dollars that they were still asking for fair enough the nice shoes were still priced a little bit more I was able to score a pair of hokas for like $13 which made me really happy I, I thought the cashier was gonna make a big stink about it but he didn't he just like boop 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 all my all my shoes I am now killing time till 3 o'clock it is currently it's currently 1252 when I can check in to my Airbnb which I'm really excited to show you guys uh, at which point I will do all the thrift hauls from the past three days um, there get it get all done at once anyway uh, here's to waiting excited to show you guys it's so cute I'm not gonna lie this is the biggest tiny home that I have stayed in and I have stayed in many like this one and 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 this one yep um it's got two bedrooms I got one up there and I got one up there. If it never had to move, which I don't think this tiny home does, it's probably perfect. Still a little bit too big for me. I'm excited to find, you know, what I do and no, not, do not like about it. And that's why I stay in so many tiny homes is to try and find out what I like the best. So if I ever go the tiny home route, I have an idea of what I want. Heated floors. Yeah. 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 That's definitely going to go into my books. 100%. three days worth of stuff um, sort of all jumbled together and uh, yeah I'm just gonna go through it all in one big shush and then we'll do a total count of what I spent and potential profit uh, at the end so I am gonna start with the shoes first up we have these women's vasque hikers now I I'm surprised that they're not more popular on eBay. Uh, there's hardly any sold of Vasks. I picked these up mostly for Facebook Marketplace because I know I'll be able to uh, get a sold there. Next, I have these Breca down slippers. Now, I don't think these are actually down. I think these are, yeah, these are definitely synthetic. Let's see if these will also sell on Facebook Marketplace. Next are these men's keen sandals i see these a lot obviously and they're always in the 20 range in terms of like at value village they're always being sold for 20 25 dollars and you only get maybe used 30 dollars for these i hardly ever pick them up but every pair that i've had in my store has sold when i saw these at a decent price i made sure to put them in my basket i have these Chaco sandals. Looked them through. They look pretty good. I mean, there's like a little bit of like dirt and grime within the cracks. I have found one other pair of Chacos and I haven't listed them yet, so I don't know how well they're going to do. But if you know how to get all the dirt and grime out between the little divots in there, please let me know because I swear to God, I have gone in with like a toothpick and like tried to get everything out and I have scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed with like shoe soap. They dry and all of a sudden it's like I didn't do anything. So if you know, a reliable method of getting the gunk out of the divots please let me know comments below next I have this 
uh, sorry, Dockers memory foam sandal. I've never heard of Dockers. I've never tried to sell these before. I just searched comps and they seem to be like a quality sandal. And these look fairly, they look like they've hardly ever been used. You can tell by the toe there. I immediately picked them up and put them in my basket. So hopefully they do well. Next up are these Allegria red strapped sandals. Now again, I get mixed. I find mixed comps on eBay. You know, the thrift shops price them like they're a really, really good item and people, some people say that they're bolos, but when you actually search the comps, it is, there's not that many that are sold. And so maybe I'm searching for it wrong or putting in the keywords wrong and I'm not finding the right stuff. But you know, I, oh goodness, I just noticed something and I now I know why they were being sold look at that oh that's so sad lesson to be learned here yeah. check your shoes thoroughly before you buy them well that's really sad good thing I can exchange these next up I have these BZ sandals again this is a, it's a brand that I have no idea about it's a brand that I've never heard of comps look good and they're basically new. Next we have the Sorel sandals. Sorel sandals. Leather sandals I should say. I couldn't find these specific leather sandals on eBay. I only did a, like a really really rough search but from what I found from my rough search from non-leather sandals that they sell pretty well so if it's leather you know um, definitely go for a lot more and they look barely even used like quick scrub to the bottom of these and they're be, be like new. Next, we have these Terran Rose shoes. Another item that there was a whole lot of solds on eBay. I just didn't want to leave them. They're like, they've never been worn. Like you can tell that they've never been worn. They've literally maybe been put in a dusty closet and collected dust. For a new pair of shoes that I even could get 20, 25 dollars on, I am more than happy. Uh, I feel like these are gonna be like more of a Poshmark sell, most likely but I just, I had to pick them up and had to try. Next we have these men's Skechers. Now I originally picked these up because I thought they were my dad's size and he really likes light shoes and these are like extremely light. Not that they did, there's a lot on eBay but not a whole lot have sold. It's risky business picking these ones up but you know, I was trying to be a good daughter. Next we have these women's Hoka's at the same thrift shop. I found these pair of hokas and they're even better condition than these ones so that made me extremely happy I was really concerned that uh, once I got to the till and they saw that these shoes were more than these shoes they were gonna get shitty with me and try to charge me the same price but uh, luckily he didn't thank goodness and uh, I got them for what they said in the shoe so that always makes me happy that is all I got for shoes. Let's move into some houseware stuff. I've gone a little bit out of my realm with this. It is this ice bucket. And the only reason I picked it up is because the top looked like a sun. And it sort of gave me like the MCM sort of vibe, even though the outside's more like 80s type of vibe. I'm not sure. I don't know if, you, if any of you guys watch Loretta and Rob on Thrift Love Sell. Uh, she does a lot of like home goods, vintage home goods and whatnots and sells on Etsy and she finds a lot of ice buckets and sells them and even though I don't know much about ice buckets, from what she said, this sort of fits the description. I don't sell on Etsy, so I don't know how this is going to do on eBay, I don't even know how this is going to do on Facebook Marketplace, I don't even know how this is going to do on Poshmark. You know, it fit the description, so I picked it up and It'll be, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. Next, I have this Igloo cooler. Uh, I know that Igloo is a very good cooler. Um, it's kind of great. It has like little top bits, place to hold your beers, and then of course just, you know, the inside here. Again, throw a cell. They say items that you can flip at home instead of on eBay, because obviously this is quite large, right? Uh, so shipping will be extremely expensive, especially here in Canada. These sell Facebook Marketplace really well, and so I only got it for a couple bucks. I hope to flip it for hopefully 20 to $30. I'm going to clean it up, obviously, and hopefully going to flip it. If not, I might give it to my brother as a birthday present because I know he would appreciate it. It's summertime. People need these, so hopefully my experiment works. We have another Thrift Love Cell piece here. Just, <laughs> Tis this. 
vintage accordion sewing kit. Yes, it opens. This one has it's a little bit more stuck than this one. And it opens quite nicely. There. One of the drawers is a little bit dirty. So I'll give that a wipe. Try to sell it. Uh, she says they sell quite well. Again, she sells it on Etsy. I don't sell on Etsy. So I'm hoping to maybe sell it on Facebook Marketplace. So we'll see how that does. I saw them being sold for around $80. This style with the handle and the legs. However, this one, paint splatter on the top here. As well as, oh my goodness. There's a couple scratches. You can't see them as well along the box. I might ask a little bit less than $80. And of course on Facebook Marketplace, you can't get the full price people are looking for deals on facebook marketplace right they're not looking to pay full price for an item if i can at least flip it double it what i paid for it that'd be good now moving into the ties i didn't get many ties i have these two are these hugo boss ties the hugo boss doesn't go for a whole lot but i already have a hugo boss tie and it's been sitting in my store for a really long time so what i plan to do is uh a lot all three of them together and hopefully that'll make it so last in the tie department is this green and white george tie but if you watch my other videos you would know that it's going to be a slytherin tie and i will elaborate in case you haven't seen that other video um, basically what i am planning to do is i'm planning to create harry potter costumes for halloween and sell them on facebook marketplace and so i have found a few gryffindor ties i found a hufflepuff tie and i found a ravenclaw tie and now is my first slytherin tie so that makes me super happy it could be a complete bust and i'm collecting all the stuff for nothing but a big harry potter nerd and so when i saw this i was like mm -hmm, in my basket Hey guys, it's now the next day. I ended up losing the light yesterday, so I had to turn the camera off. I'm gonna continue on today. You last left me when we only we did the shoes, and I'm moving into the mugs now. Is this David's tea teacup? I would say it's more of a teacup than um, a mug. It's, it's got some like little gold and white stars on there. David's teacups do usually do pretty well. The tumblers do the best, obviously, in my experience. But I decided that to pick this one up because the markings on it were still pretty good. There was no chips or stains. Next, I got this set of um, Starbucks Christmas mugs. I don't know if you can see, but it's basically got the public market from Seattle there in the drawing. They were really popular on eBay. Of course, I'm not going to put them up just yet. I'm going to wait till a little bit closer to Christmas before I put them up. And they were for a reasonably good price. I like them. Next, I have this chicken diner mug. Some people say chicken stuff does well because there's quite some chicken fanatics out there. Some people that I know who are chicken fanatics. And I don't pick up every chicken item that I see, but I liked this one, so I picked it up. Here we have this set of like shoe and hats and sunglasses mugs. Wanted to try and see if they would do well on Poshmark. Next, I have this Lumberjack Otter mug. I was on the fence about this one. I couldn't, I couldn't put it away. I thought it was too cute. I know it will hit home with somebody. Up next is this another David's Tea jar mug. I have never picked one of these up before, only because every time I see them for sale, they're like $7. And I'm like, no way. So this one didn't have a price on it, so I was hoping she'd give it to me for something super decent, and she did. I picked it up, and we'll see. We'll see how well this type of David's Tea mug sells. Next is this Indigo Adventure is Out There mug. There was one store in Parksville called the SOS Thrift. It is huge and the shelves are just like jam-packed full of stuff and it's one of the most popular thrift stores in Parksville and there's like a lineup outside the entire time and I was really really excited for this one I was really really hoping that I would find a lot more items but I ended up only finding two um, this one and one other item that I'll show you later on is this think tea with strainer mug so I just noticed now that I think I did this which is a shame as there's a little chip in it so that definitely is going to take the price down a little bit. I've seen these before. I've never sold one myself, so I was intrigued to see how well they do. Seeing that way in my basket. Here is another little floral indigo mug. I was reluctant to put this one up simply because there's a, there's a couple stains uh, at the top here that I'll try and scrub out. And also, like, it's nothing crazy wild, super awesome, but the price was 64 cents, so I was like, why not? Here we have this Wittered Chelsea 1886 mug, hand-painted in Thailand. Now, I picked this up thinking I had picked up another one that I saw in the Value Village on my first day, and I was like, oh, it's perfect. Like, they're both unique and colorful, and I could sell them as a set. Turns 
turns out I didn't pick it up. But regardless, I still think it's it's quite a beautiful mug. Next is this funky guy. Like, look at that. I saw this guy. I thought he was super fun and I had to get him. Next is another handmade mug. This one is by Ross Canada. I haven't actually looked them up yet, but I'm going to. I thought it was such a pretty mug that I couldn't, I couldn't pass it by. Next, I have this stack of mugs and I don't always buy every stack that I see but this one had some pretty flowers on it so I was sure to pick it up. I got this unicorn mug and looking great it's in such great shape oh my gosh this, this was the first mug I saw at the first value village and so that sort of kind of set me off on this like this is gonna be a great trip was this adorable unicorn mug now i am i am not a super huge fan of unicorns and like i need to have every unicorn thing but they do bring me joy when i look at them i also know a few people that love unicorns and anytime i see a unicorn it makes me think of them and it makes me very very happy uh, so to see this and the fact that oh it does have a chip oh no i was gonna say the fact that it's got no chips on it because this type of mug tends to chip super super easy um but it's okay okay we're nearing the end here so i have this david's tea teapot with mug with glasses uh it came as a set of four and because it came as a set of four i couldn't pass it up i was like yep absolutely it needs a serious clean though so i will be scrubbing that you guys if you know how to clean that off ceramic wear and whatnot because i think please let me know because i haven't been able to get this stuff off other cups before and so i ended up having to just get rid of them because i again i can't feel i don't feel good about putting this kind of stuff in my store when it's got all these marks on it yeah let me know next up i have this cream and sugar set again it doesn't have any sort of markings of who made it or where it came from but um, I thought it was an adorable set nonetheless. Picked up. Almost near the end is this handmade clay glaze bowl. It was really pretty and it was reasonably priced, so I decided to get it. Last up is this flamingo, like, I guess, ring tray. I, you could use it for tea bags if you really wanted to. I. I don't know why, I just have this fun thing that I like. Every time I go to the thrift shop, I want to find uh, an item with a flamingo on it. And I don't always pick it up. It's because be, there'd be too, way too many and they don't bring me that much joy. I just like I just like looking at them. But this was reasonably priced and I always use these little trays. So I decided to pick this one up for myself. Anyway, that's all I got for the thrift haul. Time for the reveal. The monies. In total, I spent... $265.15. And please note this is in Canadian dollars, not American dollars. So total potential profit before shipping fees, before eBay fees, PayPal fees, all those other things uh, comes to roughly $370. That is what I want to get for everything minus the price that I paid for everything. Not exactly where I wanted it to be, but it would pay for my trip. And I just had so much fun doing it. And it was just so nice to be able to get out, do something, two things that I love, which is traveling and shifting. So anyway, guys, thank you. Like and subscribe if you liked this kind of content. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. It takes a lot for me to get to these really cool remote places because I have to really push myself past that fear. And um, I am super glad I did that this time. Three, two, one.